with T-Quilts and I am here to do a repair of my design wall. I have a Cheryl Lynn design wall. I actually purchased the very first design wall where they were using the white cording and as I have been using it, I have been having poles break and I did not want to buy another pole because I didn't want to unnecessarily put this into the landfill since it was not bad. So I thought I would come here and see if this would be easy to do i tried looking on their website they didn't have a video i asked them for a video and i didn't see one get uploaded so i decided that i would try it myself so i am just going to take out my old cord and i have my new cord here which is black and it's also a sturdier cord so i'm thinking that this is going to hold up better so this was the end piece that I had. I'm just going to stick this in through and hopefully it will thread through. I decided to come outside with this because it's pretty long when I put all four poles together and I wanted to make sure you could see. And I'm just hoping that this cord is strong enough as I'm pushing it through that it will come out the other end so that's what I'm currently doing and I should have brought another one out here that is put together just so I could see it but I didn't so We'll just keep going. And I'm trying to get it through this end. And it hasn't gotten there yet. <laughs> Alright. So here's the end. And so on the other end of this cord. I have a double knot. So I'm just going to. Go ahead and pull that down. Now. I have an end now that has the little metal and then an end that do not so I want to thread from the metal on and I have a total of four of these so I need to do this two more times And I am going to take a break and go get some scissors because my end has frayed. So I'm back and I have brought a pair of scissors so that I can trim off the end whenever I need to. So it does have a little white. So it's actually something white inside of the black cording. So see if I can thread this one through. Okay, so now I have two of them on and what happens is this goes inside when it's done. So now I want to thread one more on exactly as before. The second one actually went on pretty easy. This third one, not so much. So let's try cutting off the end again. I just have very little gray threads, but it's not going through, so. Okay, it's going through now.
and it is a little cumbersome because I have two of them on already okay so now I have three of them on the pole right here and I actually have one more to do so what I'm going to do is pull this tight so that I can make this card long because this is how much cord I have left. So what I want to do is stretch the cording so that I can get my piece on. And I have a clamp and I'm hoping that this clamp will hold this cord while I string on the final piece. So I am probably going to try to use my deck so that I can lay this down. So I have my final piece here, and I'm hoping I don't have to trim it again, but we shall see. So yeah, let me trim it again. And now I have my cord through and now I can release my clamp so now I have my cord that's through all four of the poles and what I'm going to do is pull it and stretch it a little bit I want these to come out but to have room to fold but I don't want it too tight and then I'm just going to go ahead and knot it and I'm going to leave this extension on until I can test whether it's enough. But I'm going to put a double knot in here to make sure that this knot doesn't go through. And maybe even a third knot to make sure. Because you don't want your knot to go into the hole around your pole. Let's redo that third knot. <laughs> it's in the wrong position. And I want to check that before I cut it. Okay, so there's my not here so now if I'll know if it works because I should be able to unfold this and be able to get it down and still have some give so this will work and this is how you repair your Sherlin design wall poles and you don't have to buy a new pole you just actually purchase some of this cording and I actually got my cording free I asked about it at one of the national quilt shows and they gave it to me for free so thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye bye